Thank you for using the Thermo Field Control Unit. This video will show you step by step how to use and get the most out of your device. After you have the unit plugged in, connect the cords to the applicator pad. To connect the black cord, twist the tip of the cord until the cord is tightened onto the applicator. To connect the gray cord, plug it into the hole next to the black cord. Next, connect the cords to the unit. Connect the gray cord to the temperature monitor input, lining up the arrows to plug it in correctly. Connect the black cord to the RF output. Twist the tip to snap it into place. For easy viewing, rotate the handle so it's underneath the unit. Now that everything is plugged in, you can switch the unit on. When the display lights up, an alarm will sound and the pane on the far right will be highlighted green. Push the round selector knob to turn the alarm off and the unit will be ready for setup. The current status of the unit should read CWRF off in the upper right hand corner of the screen. After turning the alarm off, the temp pane will be highlighted in green. Push the display entry knob. A default treatment temperature of 40 degrees Celsius will be displayed. To change the temperature value, push the selector knob again to select the temperature value and rotate the knob to select a new temperature. The value will be displayed on the right hand edge of the screen in the limits field. When you've selected the right temperature, push the knob to confirm. The time pane will now be highlighted in green. Follow the same procedure to select the treatment time. Push the selector knob and rotate it to select your desired treatment time. The graph will chart the temperature over time, calculating the thermal density delivered to the patient. Once you've confirmed the treatment time, the pause pane will be highlighted and will read pad adjust. Appropriately place the pad on the patient and push the knob to adjust the pad for treatment. The pane will then say pause and the status line will display pad adjust. At this point, the unit is allowing low RF power to the applicator and measuring how much power is absorbed in the patient. If the applicator has not been applied to the patient, the pane will display 0% efficiency. Adjust the applicator pad and secure with a bandage until the display reads a value greater than 70%. The pause pane will then change from pause to start. Typical treatment values for efficiency will be greater than 90%. You are now ready to apply the pad and begin treatment. To begin treatment, press the knob to select Start. As the treatment progresses, patient temperature values will be displayed as tick marks on the graph and also in the temp pane below. At any time during the treatment, you can switch from CW to Pulse mode. Turn the knob until Pulse is highlighted. Pushing the knob will toggle between CW and Pulse. To change the treatment temperature, time, or to adjust the pad, push the knob to pause the treatment and rotate the knob to select a pane to adjust. After adjusting the treatment, return to the Pad Adjust pane. Push the knob to reach the best efficiency and push the knob again to continue the treatment. If the pad gets disconnected or the treatment begins to fail, an alarm will sound. Push the knob to stop the alarm, then push the knob again to select Pad Adjust. As soon as the efficiency is high enough, the pane will read Start. Push the knob to continue the treatment. When the treatment is finished, the alarm will sound. Push the knob to silence the alarm. To record the treatment information, take a picture of the display. When you're done, push the knob again to end and clear the display. The unit also has several advanced settings. To adjust the advanced settings, turn the knob and select the System Info pane. Once you push the knob, the pane will read Settings, and the settings will appear in the top right corner of the display. Turn the knob to view the settings. Once you select the desired setting, it will change to blue. The advanced settings include pulse percentage, pulses per second, megahertz, watts, and calibration settings. When you're finished, turn the knob until the display reads Exit and push the knob to exit. 
the unit is now ready to begin a new treatment. The advanced settings can only be adjusted before or after a treatment. Once you turn the unit off, the advanced settings will revert to their default positions.